Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys a heads up, news update sort of deal tomorrow, depending on when you see this, but tomorrow, uh, March 15th, 2021, Walmart has put up a countdown, as what you're watching right now, on their website, they're going to be having a collector event with... Let's say Hasbro. There might be other things up, but for now, we're going to talk basically what Hasbro revealed last week through IGN and GameSpot and other places such as that. So thank you to them for the official reveals. But one thing I want to point out, we know by now how Walmart sort of goes. You really do end up finding these things on store shelves. Now, it does depend on you know the brand and everything else. But usually you find these before they ever send pre-orders. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Walmart has learned from this in the past and that we see a better situation from them. Truly, really, I do. Because, you know, it's not fun to order things thinking you're going to get them. Forget about it for the most part. Because, yeah, they're coming in a few months, stuff like that. And then they end up canceling them and everybody gets upset. And it's just not fun. And then you end up finding them in the... You know what I mean? Rigmarole. It's it's needless rigmarole. Pre-order it, you pre-order it. If you don't, don't don't do this. You know what I mean? Especially if uh, you know you're gonna find them in the store first. However, do keep this always in mind. There is limited numbers when they do pre-orders for any store, even you know online retailers and such. It's minimal. They want you to go in the store. That's the whole point of exclusives is to draw you into the store. So not only do you buy a Beast Wars Megatron, maybe you get a candy bar, milk, and that pillow that you've been wanting for your new bed. You know what I mean? Things like that. So always do keep that in mind. It is limited to a certain degree, but maybe they can kind of alter it. Let's let's really just hope for that. So anyways, we have Transformers War for Cybertron. We got Beast Wars. We have Star Wars The Vintage Collection and the real Ghostbusters as well. Now, we'll start with the Vintage Collection first. The first one is going to be the Princess Leia indoor version, 3.75 inch, of course. All these Star Wars figures are in that specific scale, 3.75. They're going to retail for... $12, $13. So you got Leia. Then you're also going to have, which is really fun to me, the Ewok Paplu. So you can get him as well. And then the ATST driver. So again, tomorrow, Monday, March 15th, 2021, all three of these 3.75 inch Star Wars, the vintage collection figures. Then moving into Transformers. War for Cybertron. Now, these are the Netflix exclusive figures, and they this could kind of change, but the general goings arounds, right, is that these will be the two figures that they have up for pre-order. They have the Optimus Primal. He comes with Rat Trap. Now, these do look to be fairly the same as what has just come out at normal retailers with the Kingdom line. It might be altered in some paint here and there. You also have Rat Trap, who is a single. So you're getting two figures, so to speak, for the one price. So that'll be, you know, probably around the $40, $50 mark, something to that degree. And then this one is actually pretty cool to me. Now, these look like they're going to be the Kingdom ones, so they'll be out later on. But you have the Decepticon Sparkless Seeker, which I really like. They kind of do like the whole zombie thing, but in Transformers lore. I like the colors on this guy. I like the packaging. I like what they do for the Netflix Walmart exclusive Transformers series. But for the last series, I just finally found Soundwave. And I have still have a couple more to find of the single, especially like Bumblebee. So they, they really did not hit very well when the last series two came out and then on top of these transformers they're going to be re-releasing the original kenner hasbro beast wars transformers figures from the 90s they're gonna have rat trap they're gonna have cheetor right he looks pretty cool you got the t-rex megatron and then you have the optimus primal Optimus Primal and Megatron are going to run you 40 bucks, and then of course Rat Trap and Cheetor are going to be at the $20 price point. And then, you know, the 
if you're a big fan of Beast Wars, this might be right up your alley. I'm sure you have the originals. I like the old Kenner style packaging. Really cool art. The Beast Wars was not my thing, so these are kind of ones that I go, yeah, all right, I can finally skip something. You know what I mean? But the packaging is cool. So you got the blister card, and then you have the boxes for the larger type figures. So that's pretty cool. I'll give it to him on that. It's good for the Beast Wars fans and everything else. But that all aside, we got the return of the real Ghostbusters Kenner Classics again. Now, they're going to be the Walmart exclusives. Wave 1 came out, and now we have Wave 2, I guess you could call it. But this is actually pretty cool. I'm stoked on this. First and foremost, we're going to be getting a reissued Fearsome Flush. <laughs> It's the toilet monster that comes to life. We got the Bug-Eyed Ghost, of course. Now, Fierce of Flesh and Bug-Eyed Ghost, while they are figures that I have, they do look a little bit different. Again, if you saw my last video, I'll say that uh, once they're in hand, I could do a better video. But from the photos, yeah, they do look a tad bit different. And then, of course, everyone overjoyed. If you got the Busters and you got Stay Puffed and Slimer from the last go about. They are re-releasing the Ecto-1, the original with the claw, and you grab the ghost and the chair, and it's awesome. It's amazing. One of the greatest toys ever produced. So definitely grab that. 50 bucks for the Ecto, for the ghosts, 15 bucks a piece, which I honestly don't think that that's really out of reason. Ecto, it always will be nice, you know, if uh, if it's a lower price, but eh, not too shabby. Pulled out all my old Ghostbusters, took some photos, very excited to see what they do with these. But keep in mind, March 15th, Walmart on their app and online and everything else. I'll post links on my Instagram when they go up. Around 1 p.m. Eastern, right? So 12, 11, 10, about 10 a.m. Pacific time, depending on where you are. So adjust accordingly. We know how these pre-orders go, but this is just a heads up as to what will be available. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about these selections. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything toys. And I'm not going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, here's to Walmart learning from previous pre-order situations. Cheers to that. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.